Welcome back. Are we here? We're here. Okay, we're here. guys. We're at Seven Springs Winery where we had the beautiful wedding and we're enjoying this beautiful morning. I'm so happy that it is not raining. Mindy, how Hi. are you this morning? Welcome. What do you do here? Tell everybody what, what okay, your jobs are so here. Okay, so I am uh, the guest services and events manager. But um, you might see me doing dishes <laughs> or helping in the kitchen or even cleaning the bathrooms. <laughs> Okay, so she said yeah. events manager. So let's kind of start with that. Now, we had a beautiful wedding here. Give us some ideas of, of the events that people book here and that you can do here at Seven Springs Winery. Oh, okay, so um, events are our specialty, really. We can do like small, intimate celebrations, very quaint, or we can do like a larger, grander event on a big scale. We have a uh, full size reception hall with chandeliers and vines all on one side of the building but we also have this beautiful place here and where sometimes people if they have a smaller celebration or wedding ceremony um, an anniversary bridal showers you know we can do it all so you're talking about events you have events but are you open on a daily basis we, we are okay um, we open every day at 11 and let's see Monday through Thursday and Saturday we close at 7 but on Fridays, we're doing something new. We're turning our Friday nights into some fun, and we've got Mitch Shields playing every Friday night, and we're staying open later from 5 to 8 on Friday nights. Music, food, and wine. I'm telling better you. Better combination? Yeah. When you, when Is there better? <laughs> There's not. Can you imagine? I've seen people out here, when we were here before, just sitting out on the patio with their friends, all decked out. Yeah. You know, I saw too. I, I love that you pointed out the different things because when we were here for the wedding, here's what I saw. Mm -hmm. I saw a bachelorette party. <laughs> yes. Who was here? Bachelorette party. Lots of those. Yes. I also saw a huge group of people who were doing a wine tasting. I don't know what if what kind of group they were, but it was a big yeah. group that got busted and were doing a wine tasting. Mm -hmm. Yep. We do have um, groups. Sometimes they let us know in advance, and sometimes they just show up. So we do our best just to accommodate everybody and make it a real memorable experience for them. Guys, if you've not been here, honestly, whether you have an event or not, just to come out, it's at, bring your friends, your mom, your family, and just sit out in this beautiful space. It's so calming. It's so relaxing. It just makes me happy, doesn't it, you, Jer? Oh, it makes me happy. Yeah. I mean, I'm already happy here. Because when, when we were here, that's the thing. I was like, I wanted to go sit with the people and enjoy the wine and the food, <laughs> but we were working. I was like, I just want to sit down and enjoy this because it was so beautiful. Yeah. We... um. We just really hope our visitors, when they come, that they feel like guests when they get here, but we want them to feel like family when they leave. Can you also give us a brief, I know you're very knowledgeable, give us a brief history of this property and the acreage. Okay, so um, the owner is Mike Bliley, and he purchased the land 16 years ago, and our venue here, the winery, has been open. We're just coming on our 14th year anniversary this month. Okay, 14 years. And then all the, the landscaping and everything has just been a work in progress over the years. It just it, keeps getting better and better. It really is beautiful. I mean, every view. And then to be down there and looking up, it's just gorgeous. Now, Mindy, you know, this is a, like you said, you do everything. The day of the <laughs> wedding, that that's one day you will never forget. It was busy yeah. here, and you were working so hard, and yeah. you want a nice experience for everyone. Right, yeah. We really do try to uh, make our customer service just mm -hmm. spot on to and just make everybody feel comfortable. Yeah. So how old are the grapevines? Do you know that? Because I, I, we saw I the saw beautiful grapevines yeah. and they're, they're beautiful. Um, how old they are? Yeah, are they are old vines or do you keep planting every year? How, oh, how does that work? Okay. So no, we've been doing a lot of pr pruning. No, they come back every year. It's a huge job to, to we hand prune everything. Oh, wow. So it takes um, a few months to get it to get it done so that you know they can bloom again and then they just start blooming like everything else in the spring you know we start seeing the the trees bloom while we start seeing the little leaves on the vines it yeah. gets exciting oh, yeah. it, and so. when I drove in I'm like this is a huge business this takes a lot of time I was so impressed with, with how many acres of grapes um, do you have okay well on um, the total land there's around 160 acres and we have like hiking trails that go on that bluff on the other side that you can hike mm -hmm. but um on the grapes we have about eight acres of vignole and three acres of norton and those make different kinds of wines then i'm assuming yeah yeah vignole is a, a, a type of grape and it's a wine very um citrusy and kind of tart and then the norton is the missouri state grape so it's a very hearty grape that grows well in this part of the country so yeah. See, that's the whole thing. Is yeah. I, I like to drink it. I'm not knowledgeable on how to make it. <laughs> you don't okay. have to know that. Let, let <laughs> Seven Springs Winery take care of the making of it, Jeremy. Now, so you can come here and hike? I didn't know that. Yep, yep, you can. 
Yeah, we've also, got a hiking trail about uh, two miles around the property. Wonderful. Also, too, one of my favorite views is from, like, we had the wedding right down, down here. There. Looking up, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then I looked across the field, and there's a cute little uh, gazebo wedding venue over there. I saw the reception hall. It really is kind of spread out, and you could have your pick. Yeah, we have a lot of different um, areas, just really charming places to have your ceremony or um, other events that you want to have. Yep. Yeah. Pick a day, guys, if you've not been. It's just a little gym right here in the hills. It's and what, beautiful. Did you see, I, I didn't notice it the last time I was here, but that open air pavilion, mm -hmm. what do you use that for? Um, just different events. We, we have it to use if needed. There's a lot of picnic tables there, and sometimes we've done some things where we'll have, like, beer and wine out there, just depending on the event that we have. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, so, Mindy, you're yeah. going to stick with us, because coming up in a few segments, you are actually going to let us sample some of the wines, right? Okay, okay and we're going to learn all about them. Okay, sounds Okay, good. don't go anywhere. So much more fun from Seven Springs Winery on Ozarks Fox AM right after this. Thank you so much. Thanks.